Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. 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 Assalamualaikum. Okay, um, shall we start everybody? You're ready, yeah? Yeah, I'm ready. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Um, Where's my moderator? Okay, tak apa. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good morning everybody. Uh, Waalaikumsalam. Thank you for... Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for taking your time on this uh, you know, nice Saturday morning. All right. Uh, inshallah, what we have here will be a very interesting topic to start off with our We Ocean Warriors uh, program. All right. So you can see that poster. All right. So you are all participating, inshallah, all right, in this uh, very interesting short story writing competition all right, with a the theme of uh, marine conservation. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen. My name is Izani. All right, I'm going to share my screen right now and uh, we'll start off with a, a simple PowerPoint. Okay, hold on one second. All right. Okay, can you see my screen, everybody? Yes. 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 Okay, great. Okay, so um, this is the program that we're doing. All right, it's called WOW. All right, WOW is short for We Ocean Warriors. So my challenge to you uh, kids and children out there, all right, is for you to be warriors, to think of yourself as warriors, to think of yourself like uh, Raya, the, you know, the dragon movie. Uh, Moana, all right, that movie. So that's the characters that we want you to feel and embrace. Okay, that's the characters that we want you to bring out in your creativity. Okay, so this project, all right, is uh, in collaboration with a lot of partners, all great partners that we have. All right, and I'm going to go through those partners uh, a bit later. All right, so first of all, you see that big, nice fish in the middle of the logo. Yeah. Right? Yes. 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 Ah, that's our champion. It's called billfish. Whoa. Ah, okay. That's a billfish. It's our champion. So your first assignment after this whole one session is over is to do some research on billfish, is to do some research on conservation, all right, and come up with your cool uh, uh, essay, okay? All right. So this is the objective that we want you to achieve. 
All right. First is to write a short story. All right. It has to be between 800 to 1,000 words. All right. In English. Okay. And this challenge is for Malaysian school children. All right. So for you guys. All right. Between the age of 12 to 17. Okay. And your, your essay must be original. All right. Not cut and paste from somewhere. Okay. All right. And must be fictional. Meaning it can be up to your creativity. Okay. It can be up to your creativity. Uh, but you must go with the theme of marine life conservation. Okay. So that is the main topic. All right, uh, that you have to put it in your essay. Okay, so when Excuse you participate, me, teacher. yes, um, must my story be about the billfish? Not necessary. All right, okay, uh, thank not you. Necessary. So it's marine life conservation. Okay, uh, billfish is our focus, uh, you know, uh, for this year, right? But your, your essay may not necessarily be about billfish, it's up to your creativity. Okay, okay, all right, good question. Okay. So, what is the benefit from this program? Okay, this is an eight weeks program. So, it will finish 31st August 2021. Okay, so within these eight weeks, we hope, all right, number one, you will develop a good reading comprehension skills, all right, research skills and writing skills, right, because you have to, you have to go through online and find all the materials. Okay, number two, you have to do planning. You develop planning skills and communication skills like today, right? One of the sessions that we have, right, is today. And we have uh, seven more sessions. So we have a few experts coming in, all right? We have a few of our TOEFL master trainers, all right, that will guide you and give you good ideas, good feedback, all right? Uh, tips on writing, all right? So very, very fun stuff. Uh, we have our editors that's coming in that will help you uh, if you have some of your essay already uh, half written or you know, have some ideas of your essay you can post that questions or your writer's blog as they call it to our editorial team right they can respond and say oh maybe you want to try this or maybe you want to try that okay uh, you can you want we want to see you demonstrate your creative skills in your essay and the best part is this the best 50 essays, all right, we will publish in a book. Ooh. Ah, so that book will have your name in it. So it will be a That's real crazy. physical book. All right. That and will be an intriguing. Yes, that will be very, very cool because you have your own name. Imagine, how old are you, uh, Wani? How many? 12. 12. 12. So imagine 12. at 12 years old, you have your own book already is it and that book will live to your entire life Wait. isn't that cool yeah it's kind of yes yeah so that's what we want to do all right uh for those who do not make it to the best 50 uh there'll be an ebook okay so don't despair all right for those who do not make it to the best 50 it will be an ebook but the best 50 you actually have your own hard copy book all right um then uh, this objective, the benefits also, we want to expose you and make aware of the importance of marine life conservation. You know, in this world, we do not live on our own, all right? Whatever we do impacts our environment, whatever we do impacts our ocean, you see? And water yeah. is the biggest source of life, can, okay? right? Yeah, yeah. So we have to be aware and we have to understand the importance of the, the world we share, all right? And how do we conserve? Uh, our natural resources, and uh, which is a very uh, critical resources, very important resources, right? Without water, we won't get oxygen, we will be able to breathe. So the whole ecosystem needs to be, you know, protected. And lastly, now is COVID time. So, you know, COVID news are very boring. COVID news is very sad. All right, COVID news is very... Even, I don't even watch COVID news. Don't even watch the COVID news, yeah. So we... But we want to see the other side of it. We want you to feel like warrior. We want you to have that warrior feeling in you. Okay, we want you to step up, all right? Feel like a warrior, be like a warrior, and use that idea, use that persona. I don't know whether you are Captain America, ke, whether you are <laughs> Spider-Man, all right? Whether you are Moana, ke, 
All right. All right. Yeah. So be that persona and put it in your writing skills. Okay. All right. So that's you know that's the benefit that we want to see. Okay. So these are our partners. All right. We have to say thank you to our partners. Uh, firstly, is Malcons. Right. There's a Marine Life Conservation Society. So they are our domain expert. All right. And they're also the event organizer for the Royal uh, Billfish Competition. Mm. Okay. So we have also the Shake Book Projects. All right. This is a, a good friend of ours uh, that brings in the editorial team. All right. And the book publisher. Okay. Mm. So if you have heard of uh, a book called Seven Doors. All right. So this is like the, my uncle have one. Copy. Ah, so we're working with uh, Shake Book Projects. All right, for something similar. All right, with the Seven Doors concept on this. All right, and uh, another project, another partner that we have is TOEFL. So TOEFL is the world's largest uh, testing provider in English. All right. Yeah. So if you have to take the TOEFL proficiency test, all right. So these are the guys that actually produce the test and gives you the cert. All right, so you know, TOEFL is providing the master trainers. So we have some cool Malaysian teachers who are master trainers, who are really experts and fun in their classes. And also TOEFL give gifts, all right, for the best 50. And right, there's lots of gifts that we're gonna have from TOEFL, okay? So get ready, all right? And for today, all right, Get ready, and these are the uh, sessions that we're gonna have, uh, the presenters that we have today, all right? So I've done my part, all right? After this, we have uh, Jake Munir, all right? We'll talk about the conservation, the domain expert. Then we have Dr. Fuad, who is also an expert, all right, on conservation, all right? And uh, Jake Hafiz, all right? That we'll share with you on billfish as well, okay? So let me stop right now. If you have any questions, uh, you know, do post them. All right, I'll stop right now and hand over to uh, the moderator and also Chimoni. Okay. Neil, can you take over? Uh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, someone is waiting in. Uh, someone is waiting in the waiting room. Okay. Yep. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone and good morning. Waalaikumsalam. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Munir Kasman Abu Hamid from Melcon. First, let me pull up our my slide that we want to share with you this morning. Please be gentle with me this morning because it's my first time handing tips, uh, talking to tips in my presentation. It's a new experience for me this morning. Oh, nice. Because you have any experience for everyone, I think. Nobody has done this. Yeah. Okay, everyone can see my slide now. Yes. Yes, but I think it's still it's loading. Black. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's, saying it's still loading. Right you know. I I know that some uh, most mm -hmm. of you are not able to to go to the beach right now because of MCA, uh, MCO. Sorry. So I put picture of beach in in Kuantan, which is in fact right in front of my house. <laughs> uh, the slide is not. It's still black. Oh, still black. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no,
Malaysia, Islamic International University, IUM, Innocent Institute of uh, Nation, uh, Oceanography yeah. and Maritime Studies. The part will be with us as well today. And then uh, uh, we will also be, be sharing some information about billfish and the competition. A Royal Pahang Billfish International Challenge, which is the biggest uh, event in Pahang in Malaysia for international uh, fishing. Okay. So first, uh, let me just uh, recap. Let me just uh, highlight the objective of our, our discussion today. Uh, we, will, we will introduce uh, Wow. Wow, I think in Izani, Izani already uh, uh, shared with you yep. what is Wow is all about. But what we want to tell you is how we, how we, we come to work with Wow. Okay. okay. Uh, wow. Well, the, the, the reason we work with Wow because uh, we want to bring awareness to the people and the best target for conservation is kids, school children, because they will be the future leaders. And some of you, some of you here may be the next uh, future prime minister. So we hope by your involvement in this program, you can help uh, uh, set up policy that will benefit marine conservation, that will protect the fish, protect turtle, protects uh, no, stingrays and all the creatures in the, in the world. So uh, Melcon, Melcon uh, collaborated with a lot of agency. We have uh, been working with uh, enforcement, research, as well as uh, Jabatan Perikanan. Next, we will try to cover marine conservation. Marine conservation will be, will be explained by Dr. Fuad from Innocent because they are the subject matter. They will tell you what they have done, what we have done, and what can be done. And the last will be, we'll be talking about bill fish and sport fishing and uh, RVBIC. Okay. You see down, down there, there's a, there's a picture of hook. Yeah. Any one of you know? The story about this hook? These are fishing no. hooks. These okay. are fishing hooks, and some of these hooks are good for fish, some are not so good for fish. So this might be covered later, inshallah. Okay, who we are? My name is Munia Kasman, I am Cik Hafiz, is uh, our secretary, and Cik Gamal is with us today as well, uh, our treasurer from Malcolm, and we have uh, the, the fishing expert, Sadara Umbai. Umbai, Umbai, uh, Umbai, he is the founder of a lot of fishing competition in Malaysia. Uh, if you ask your dad who likes fishing, chances he will know about Umbai. Okay. Okay, story behind, behind Malcolm's. Uh, we started by organizing a fishing event, Royal Pahang Bee Fish International Challenge. As the name uh, showed, the Royal, because the pattern for this event is the person on the right, who know who who is who is he? Who's the guy who hold, holding the fish? I I don't know. Yes, I, I don't, I don't know. know. Wait, really? Yes. 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 Is that yeah. a real fish or is yeah. that a different fish? So here is the pattern for this event, fishing event. Last year we have I about fourteen countries that. participated. I yeah. never knew that part. Okay. You get to know later. Okay, and then we will identify uh, during FBBIC, we have done some observation, we have done some, find, uh, some, some, some investigation, and we found out that there's a, uh, uh, what do you call, a threat to build fish population in Malaysia. The number of build fish catch during our competition has was reduced from uh, 400 plus in 2016 to 219. Uh, to, to, to 100 plus in 2019. It's so about 70% uh, decline in numbers. But we don't catch and carry the fish, the fish home, the beer fish home. We catch, we tag, and we release. Why do why, why, why we tag, you know? So you can recognize it if, it ever, if you ever catch it again? You mean like an IC number for, for fish? How many is a grocery store and store? I can't hear you. Come again? Never mind. Okay, the reason we tag the fish because every time people catch the same fish, they will notice there is a tag on the fish, 
and we will record it. So we know where the fish goes because the fish, they move from North Sea to, to Malaysia, to Australia, to New Zealand. So Malaysia is only a pit stop or rest area, if you can look at it. Huh? So we have to provide a good rest area, good restaurant for the fish, a good toilet for the fish so that they can come here and stop and play in our water between good month of April to uh, October every year. If you cannot provide good food for them, you cannot provide good uh, uh, ocean condition for them, it's too uh, uh, what do you call, uh, insufficient oxygen for them to breathe in our water, they will not come to Malaysia. Okay? And then after we notice that there are problems with uh, uh, the, the numbers of fish, a number of deer fish in Malaysia, we identify what, what things need to be done. We list out what thing needs to be done in order for us to, to tackle this problem. This is, this is like a, a standard problem, problem solving uh, action that we are doing. Next is we, we, we find out who can help us to get this thing done. So we talk to LKIM. Anyone know what LKIM is? I'm not that sure what that is. Okay. Same, I'm not very that sure with names. Okay. Like LKIM is Lamaga Kemajuan Ikan Malaysia. They look after the fish that we Lembaga Kemajuan Ikan Malaysia. So every single fish that we 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 caught for for consumption, they are the one who are responsible for it to regulate the 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 the, the rules and everything. Jabatan Perikanan, everybody knows. Everybody can guess what they do. And then APMN is our maritime. These are marine police, the police that goes to after after illegal boats that uh, uh, ventured into our ocean, which is still our fish, and then bring back to their country. APMM is the one you see on the news, catching bad guy on, on the ocean. You see illegal boats from Vietnam, from Indonesia, even from China lately. APMM is the, 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 enforcement, group, the enforcement team who protect our, our ocean and our reserve. And then uh, we also talk to Tourism Malaysia because uh, RPBIC, Royal Palm Beach International Challenge, is, a, is actually a, 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 a tourism event. So we work with state government via tourism Faham. So you see, when we have problem, we have to find people who can help us to solve, to tackle the problem. We have to be able to, to identify the right people and, 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 and be specific on what they need, to be, and they need to do to help us. Okay. After that, we, we, we talked to all these people, we, we realized that there is, a, we have association who champion a, a, a turtle, WWF. No? They have an agenda to protect turtle in Malaysia. We have a Reef Chat, organization called Reef, International Organization, Reef Chat, the name is. So Reef Chat, they, 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 they focus on reef, but nobody's looking after billfish. So we decided to form a MELCON last year. MELCON stands for Marine Life Conservation Society, Paham, in Paham. Uh, Marine, M-A, M -A, Life and Conservation, as a society. So that's what, uh, 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 that, that's how MELCON uh, come into picture. So when, when, when we start working on this, we realized that we are not the expert on this, on this subject. So we identify uh, university, local university, and then we get to know Dr. Fuad, who is very passionate and, 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 and uh, expert in ocean. So we get Innocent to help us, and we are fortunate uh, enough to have uh, to, to, to be able to get uh, Innocent to identify what can be done in order for us to, to, to have uh, to, 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 to ensure that the real fish will, be, will, will stay with us. So there are seven research that Innocent will be doing. There are ongoing research that they do, like they're taking sample of fish from, from, from landing jetty to study their stomach content, to study what they, their diet, you know, to study whether they, are, they have eggs in it, whether they are breeding. So Innocent help us in terms of technical. Next is uh, we need to bring awareness, as I mentioned earlier, to the people. And one of the program is uh, wow. Lah. We work with uh, uh, Test Malaysia, Test Malaysia uh, through this wild program, and we hope we can we, we can share and we can we can bring some real warrior from uh, among among the participants. Like I said earlier, 
some of you may become ministers, some of you become a policy makers. So hopefully by, by uh, uh, exposure at younger age, you will appreciate this. Uh, by the way, this bill fish, the biggest bill fish landed in Malaysia. Wow. The weight is about uh, three, uh, 300 kg. It's as big as the person. How bigger. tall? How tall uh, is the... Uh, <laughs> how tall? Uh, how long? How long? How long? Yeah, how long is this? How long is the fish? fish? About uh, two meters, maybe. It's uh, even bigger than my dad. Uh, of course, your, your weight doesn't weigh uh, 200, uh, 300 kg, right? Okay, next. Uh, these are the, these, uh, uh, this, uh, this slide is about uh, bill fish in Rompain. Uh, the, the, the event is, 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 is uh, happened in Rompain, Pahang, near, near Pulau Tiaman. More, more people are familiar with Pulau Tiaman, most people are familiar with uh, Pulau Tiaman. Rompain is, is where you need to take boat to go to Pulau Kioman. So between April and October is fishing season. Okay, this is why we need to conserve. If you see in this picture, this are uh, uh, the the you go, the from the the, the 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 small size, the baby uh, uh, fish. This one is sailfish. You see the why they call it sailfish because they are, they have sails at the top They're of the so back. So small. Yeah, this is when they are small. Okay. It's too adorable. Okay. This is what we did in the past and what we will continue to do. We discussed with taking a, a, a company that helped us with the tagging of the fish. We have engaged the local community in Rompen, JKK, Satan Pemudo. We have a college community to help us with uh, preparing food for our event when we did RPBIC. We have all these people to help us. We are fortunate because most of them are very cooperative. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we have uh, ATM men here helping us with uh, enforcement. They said if one with the, we, we pass the act to protect the fish, they will go and chase after a boat who, who, who bring the fish into uh, offshore. Okay. So, from this picture, they have an engagement with uh, 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 sports, Minister of Sport, Tourism, and MB of our Menteri Besar Pahang. Okay. okay, this one is maybe not for the kids, but this is this tells us why we want to do this because in other country, Costa Rica, they have made 100, 600 million US dollars a year from doing fish fishing. Okay, this is what we intend to do. Uh, okay, I still have two minutes, I think, before to, uh, to wrap up. Okay, what we plan to do with technical is ongoing. We are doing a publicity for bill fish. Like this is one of the, the, the activity that you are doing. Sorry. Okay. We try we try to regulate uh, we regulate spot fishing. The difference between spot fishing is you you fish for you fish and then you release you release, it back. release the fish back to the sea. Yeah. Me and my dad always do that if we're fishing. Okay, then you should come to Rompin and try fishing for bill fish. <laughs> okay, if, uh, so those are the list of things that we plan to do. All the information will be, will be put on our website. Let me, yeah, we have a website, uh, rp, www.rpbic.com. We, we, uh, uh, Hafiz, we go through this website with, with you, later part of the presentation, after Dr. Fuad. So you can see from, from, from this website, more information, pictures, and resources about conservation and all. Okay. Let me see if, uh, what else I can... Okay, this, this are, these are the examples of program. You see here the, 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 the bill fish in the net. This was done by Innocent during RPBIC 2019. This is our booklet for the event. And this is our team. Organizer. You see, we have uh, Navy. Uh, excuse me. Yes. yes. Um, uh, will the hook cause injury to the fish? The hook will always cause injury to the fish. What we can do is we try to minimize the injury. 
Oh, gitu right. kan, Encik Hafiz will will explain the the what we call why and how we do it. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I think this this will be my last uh, slide to show this morning. If we have time, we will show you more. We have videos as well that we want to show you at the end of the presentation. You, you can stay with us to see uh, uh, about the event. So while we are we are ocean warrior, we the warrior. So what we are we are asking from you guys, what we wish uh, we want uh, we wish from you guys, what what you can do for us is every one of us we have circle of influence. You have your friends, you have your teacher, you have your father. Everyone can do their part to make things to make things better. But in order to do that, you need to make sure you have to have accurate information. On TV, we have this uh, advertisement about wabak berita palsu. Eh? So in order for us to be a warrior, we need to have accurate information. Then we should we should be able to fight. And to fight, we have to have ethics. Etika, we have to know. We have to know what and what is right, what is wrong. And for at this age, the weapon of the warrior that you already have now is keyboard, your mouse, and your camera. You can do your 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 TikTok. You can <laughs> do your writing. <laughs> now, just put some uh, very conservation in your content that you are working on. The, 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 the bottom part will be covered by Dr. Fuad. He's more uh, he's an expert for ocean species as well. I think that will be this should be my last slide for today. Ah, sorry. Let me show you this one. Uh, this is my map of collaboration that we have. Just to give you some feel and uh, on what do we do and for you guys for 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 for, for young kids maybe you should, you you can start learning about. Mind mapping. Anybody know about mind mapping? Yeah, I think yeah. You learn that in school? Yeah, we do. Yes. Ah, no. ah. Yes. This is very good too to organize your thought, especially when we have too, so many things in your head. That nice. Okay, I think that should wrap up my event, my 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 session for today. And uh, as we have discussed with uh, uh, Izani, if there is a need for you to understand more about marine conservation, maybe we can have another session more in detail, more, more in depth about marine conservation. Okay. I don't mind. Okay, uh, Miss Mo uh, Moderator, I think that should be my last slide for today. If you have any questions, feel free to chat. We'll try to feel free to comment, and then we'll try to respond to you. Thank you so much. All right, that's a great sharing session from Mr. Mune Kasman. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, everybody gets some idea on what to write about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of ideas. <laughs> you mentioned right. you should get a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now we'll move on to Dr. Fuad Miskun. Yes? Yeah. Yep. Okay, let All me right. share my slide first. Okay? Everyone can see? Okay. Yep, I can okay. see it. Very oh, Assalamualaikum. Good morning, Warriors. Wow, I see some, some of you already. It's like, good morning. Okay. It's good morning. It's just good morning. Okay, okay this is a seahorse, okay? You are correct. This is a seahorse. And, and what is this seahorse bring? Huh? Uh, a well, it's not the point. It's something that, that, that actually in our house, right? And now everyone's wondering why is this cotton bud is with that seahorse. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to talk to you about uh, quite a general. I mean, I'm going to add up some more idea to you uh, instead of that bill fish. I mean, you have seen the cute bill fish and you have seen the large bill fish there, right? <laughs> okay, so we are going to spin out a bit. We are going to dive us a bit into the ocean. But Dr. let Fuad, me just show you. Yes. Dr. Fuad, your sound yeah. is like uh, breaking up a bit. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's kind of breaking just a bit. Just a bit. Are the longer? Yeah. 
I'm 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 supposed to be a caption type of thing. Everybody just read what what the the teachers have said. Oh, okay, that's the caption there, right? Um, no but that's better. That's better now. Is, is it okay it's still better. right now? Yeah. Is it okay? No, yeah, yeah. it is okay. Yeah. No, it's okay. I can hear you clearly. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so this is it. Okay, that's a picture of a uh, seahorse, a cotton bug. That's a picture of me. I'm not uh, in the ocean. I'm not an animal. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll just stay there. Okay. I'm from UIA, International Islamic University of Malaysia. Okay, let's go anybody for next UIA? slide. Do we have anybody okay. in class UIA? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, we, have, we have lots of marine conservationists at UIA. Mm. No problem. Okay, so you see, so what is this? This is a sea turtle, sea turtle. Okay. A giant sea turtle. turtle. Is that a leatherback sea turtle? Okay, so you see there's a turtle there and then there's a scuba diver there. Okay, for those who want to explore the ocean, Okay, you cannot, you cannot enter the ocean just like we are on the land. We cannot breathe in the ocean, okay? So how do we want to live in the ocean? We yeah, have a guest tank. scuba we diver. Have a yes. You have to train in scuba diver, right? You need to take a license for that, okay? You need to take a scuba diver license because it's, it's a new world for us and it's not a, a comfortable world for us to live in if we are without the scuba diving equipment. Okay, but but the, the point is it's not that scuba diver. Lah. My point is that this is how the wonder of the oceans, okay? So you see the, there's a blue ocean, so there's the tail, and then there's a lots of coral I'm going to share after this. Okay, so this is some quick fact about the ocean. Okay, so do you know that the ocean, the ocean water is actually cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface? But do you know that why we are naming the Earth, Earth, we just did only 30% of land instead of the ocean. We have 70%. Why we are not naming our planet as the ocean? Right? If you are thinking something like that. Okay? Uh, so we, we should call our blue planet ocean, not Earth. Uh, yeah, things for you to wonder. Right? Uh, everybody okay? just look from the aliens up on the top. What is that? Why does it have so many water? <laughs> right. Okay? So... So the, this we are not still not explore yet all of our ocean water. We have a Mariana Trench. We have something that really deep, uh, that uh, more high than Everest mountain. Okay, and we we are still not there. We are not exploring much of our oceans. We have still lots of mystery in our ocean. And then and then the ocean is actually they they are giving so much to us. If if even you are staying at the jungle, actually ocean is still giving contribute to you something or especially on the oxygen okay and then this is the benefit of the ocean for us okay for those that who don't know about this thing maybe i didn't think uh, you you think that uh, i'm not going to the ocean i'm not staying at uh, next to the ocean why must i bother this thing no actually it the ocean provides us lots the ocean provides uh, the air we breathe okay half of the world oxygen actually has come from the ocean and then they also, the ocean also control the climate regulations. You see that uh, right now we are talking about global warming. You see that you feel a lot more hotter than before if, if, you, if you are realizing that. Uh, and then the climate change. Uh, so there is something that the oceans have as, 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 uh, as a, a man or change something and then that's regulate and then that's contribute to the climate regulation. And also ocean also... Uh, has a very big impact on us on transportation. Okay, if you if you are doing shopping on Shopee or Lazada, much of your much of your items is come through the ocean uh, because it's much more cheaper than a flight, huh? right? Okay, and then we do have some recreation and of course economy from the ocean. We have so much economy related things that uh, from the ocean. If we call this economy in the ocean, okay, for those who want to know that we call that a blue economy. Okay, blue, okay, the blue representative of the ocean water. Oh. And okay, we call that blue economy. And then we also have food. Yes, this one I think everyone knows. You eat food from the ocean, you eat fish. Wait, can I ask a question for a moment? Okay, no problem. Uh, since yes. we drink like water is clear to us. Then how the then how uh, the water is blue if it was together like the ocean water is blue how did it turn to be blue? 
so basically water it actually reflect the 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 sky if the sky is blue you can get a blue water there and also if i want to go very deep one you know the plankton you are do everyone know plankton yeah yes from okay when yes the one is a it's a bad plankton <laughs> okay uh, but what but when when you have plankton so much plankton need nutrient nutrient plankton need food when you have so much plankton at the coastal area or or at the river or just uh, for at Kuantan, we have Teluk Cepeda. I think from Selangor, we have Pantai Remis, uh, uh, all the beach there. When the color is there, it's not so blue because it has so much plankton. The color is almost a bit darker, a bit, uh, wow. quite green, uh, brown a bit. Okay, there is lots of uh, color come whether it's from, from the plankton, whether it's also from the pollution. So there's lots of... Uh, uh, lots of uh, informations there but when when the ocean is so blue it means that it doesn't have so much plankton it doesn't have so much food it reflects lots of wavelength or this the color of the sky so this this why they're so blue okay it is i i think if you want to deep uh, deep dive more into the color the oceans i can give you a class after this okay sure. yes Okay, so also we have the medicinal products coming in the oceans to fight cancer or asthma disease. Usually we have a seagrass, we have a seaweed. Uh, yes, uh, omega oil, uh, all from the oceans. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Is there any like medication that's like, um, made by like materials in the sea? Yes, yes, we, we do have marine, uh, marine natural product from the biotechnology uh, field. We can convert that into the our medication uh, medicinal uh, purpose we have so much to say uh, oh that's so cool yeah okay okay so you see this is the color of the oceans oh. okay so and this is beautiful uh, coral over here yes it's a coral reef there it's a, or trumbu karang for those please, please do not say batu karang okay batu karang is a is a penyakit okay. yeah <laughs> we call that coral reef it's a trumbu karang okay this is a uh, some of the engine of the ocean uh, because it contains lots of fishes that uh, stay as a primary producer there. Okay, so you see the, the ocean is a very beautiful one here. And then so suddenly the ocean is so beautiful, but why am I crying? So some of fishes is crying, some of shellfish is crying, some of coral reef is also crying. Oh yes, for the coral reef part, do you know that coral reef is an animal? What? It's yeah. not, it's not yeah. a plant. Yeah, I knew that. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Uh, this one coral reef. I, I just yes, found that out name. now. I do not like bounce on ocean. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, so I, I see some fishes is crying there, right? Okay, so you see why? This is it, some of it. Okay, this is some of the bad movement from the human. We have some oil spill. We have some switch pipe problem. We have some fertilizer runoff from the uh, from the land. We also have chemical pollutions. And we also have a coral reef destructions from the uh, habitat destruction from the fishing, from the overfishing. Okay, you see, you see that uh, the color color of the coral for the healthy color, it will have some color like blue. A chocolate, yellow, green, and then when it has become stressed because of the ocean acidification, uh, then it will become white. Okay, so when you see when you see the coral reef is white color, it means that it's it's either dead or it's not healthy anymore. Okay, so poor poor this coral reef, as you see at the photo there before and after. Okay, so there are some also some overfishing. There. Overfishing means that you you fish, you you doing the fishing activity, uh, exceed the capability of the fishes to to populate back to breeding. I mean, I mean, like uh, if you want to uh, to eat fish, just eat the fish that are a market size or uh, in a very good size for your stomach. You don't need to eat a very very small fish, let the small fish uh, go big first and then we catch that. That's the definition of this overfishing. Mm -hmm. So some habitat destruction, you see that that is a net there. 
there is a net there, some of the troll net. So when they doing the fishing activity there, they just destruct all the coral reef there. Uh, uh, so there's some problem. Uh, yeah. So that like breaks the coral? Pardon? So does the net the net just like break the coral or something? Yes, just it's just like that. You see, like a bulldozer, like an excavator, just like that, like a stem roll. Okay, grab everything. But then the yeah, one is a thing. one what one yeah. type of uh, net now. One type of net is a troll net. We yeah. have lots of types of uh, fishing gear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So you see that that, that thing is actually a factors. Uh, you see that there is this is the food web in the oceans. We have yeah. primary producer, we have primary, secondary, tertiary, cons, uh, quaternary, okay? This is the circulation or the ecosystem in the ocean. We cannot disrupt that. It doesn't mean that we cannot eat the fish, no. But we must manage to catch the fish sustainably. That's, that's the key point there. So because we want to, to ensure that these circulations or the ecosystem is taken care. So that is the fisheries management. Uh, okay. So this is some photo of that. Okay. The things is here, much more I'm going to see you is about the plastic. Because as you are as a ocean warrior right now, plastic is something that you can hands on a bit. I mean, like if we talk about uh, just now, we, uh, we talk about overfishing, we talk about coral reef destruction. So as us, I mean, like we, uh, uh, as we are a citizen, normal citizens, you are a kids. So what can we do about that? So we can do so much about that. But for this plastic, it's something that you can do. That's why I'm going to stress it out about this thing, this plastic ocean. Okay, you see that? You see that guy there is in the middle of the ocean that are filled with plastic. Yeah. Okay. So plastic is everywhere in the oceans. I'm doing research. I'm doing... Uh, about this plastic, about this marine plastic. We have plastic at the Mariana Trench, the floor. We have plastic at the Antarctic, you see? At the polar bear, where they, oh, okay. they reside. We, we find the plastic, plastic there, that nowhere, and not, not, not everyone stay there, but we still have a plastic there. Uh, so it's everywhere in the ocean. You can find, uh, I'm going to, uh, to detail about that later. We're going, uh, we can find plastic in the fish. You see, uh, later, uh, later I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so uh, yes, okay, this is about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. So, this is actually a, a compilation of plastic that are recycled on the surface of the oceans that are much more bigger than one of state of uh, our, or I think it's almost the same size of our peninsula Malaysia. You see, Wait, how what? much big is that? Yes, it's a garbage. Uh, this is we call that Great Pacific Garbage Patch. You can find oh, it in yeah. the internet. It's almost half, lah. I think. I think it's a bit too much for the one peninsula. I think half of our peninsula is wait, so wait. big. That meaning that meaning if somebody just grab like a bingo net, just drag all of it out. Yes, but it it still came. It still came when you when you uh, when you make it clean it up. The the plastic is still came. And why, why, why is it, uh, why is it uh, stay around like this? Is because it trapped in the gyre. Gyre means that it's circulation of uh, ocean current, uh, ocean current somewhere at the North Pacific there. So they stay there. That's why when some of the plastic is trapped in there, it will circle there. That's why this the compilation of that. That's and if you scary, and, 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 and yes. not know anything, just like what the heck is happening? Magic? Yes, we we are all scary about this, but do you know that maybe one of us or some of us actually are contribute to this? Ah, oh, this is scary part. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, much more scary because we we don't know how we seen. Okay, this is some from the news. I take it from the news. So you oh, see wow. that. Some of shark actually they eat the plastic because uh, some of the turtle also eat the plastic because the turtle eat a uh, jellyfish. So jellyfish in the water, it's Let's kind try. of a bit uh, yeah, it's a mimic from the plastic. So they just eat the plastic, and so sudden 
the plastic is trapped in the stomach and they cannot uh, they cannot breathe breathe. And also there are also they, they still can breathe but when they eat plastic every day and then it becomes stuck and it cannot uh, I mean like as bloated up because of that plastic. So you see, we have lost. This is actually the last year, the last year news. We, uh, I think for this year, I'm going, we are going to have so much news about this one, just that we are in PKP so much. Uh, so, cannot so, so, so when we talk about plastic, uh, you, do you know that we have plastic movement in the world every day? Uh, I mean, you have a World Ocean and Cleanup Day, we have Beach Cleanup, something like that. So from all the data, actually, this is the data. Uh, this is some of data. So we have lots of plastic bottle, cigarette butts, plastic bag, straw, food wrapper, plastic bottle caps there. The thing is that because of the problem is plastic because it lives so much. It lives so longer. Okay, you see that even for newspaper or for Apple Core, it stays seven weeks or six weeks, even though it's not plastic. But for, for plastics like disposable diaper, plastic bottle, it stay in the ocean for 500, 450 years. Uh, can you imagine? And then plastic is in our environment starting from 50 something, 1950. Well, some of you are not born yet. I, I'm also on 80 something. Okay. And the first born plastic is still live until here, until right now, until the time I'm, I'm, taking, I'm talking right now. Okay, so that's the scariest part of the plastic. It's good for us, but it 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 lives much longer from us. That's a thing. Okay, so 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 I'm going to take about this microplastics thing. Okay, pl plastic actually from all the plastic that you see from the great uh, Pacific garbage, and then when they have experienced so much in the oceans uh, to get the UV, and also from the weathering process, uh, and then they are going to to, to break up into smaller pieces of plastic. We call that a microplastic, okay? Even from clothing, even from personal hygiene product. So this microplastic is actually the one that eat by fish and stay there. And you can find that microplastic inside the fish that you eat, I'm telling you. I'm doing a research on that and we have found a microplastic in the oyster and we have found the microplastic in the gut of the fishes that we eat from the from the market okay oh so, my god that is actually scary uh, that's actually quite scary but but still but still we are in the process of research saying that uh this microplastic still our body can detoxify that but this is uh, information that everyone must know how actually we contribute to this thing Okay, like you say that everyone, everyone talking about biodegradable plastic, but you know that even though biodegradable plastic, it has if uh for one on half years, it's still not biodegradable. It just become a very tiny particle of plastic. We call that microplastic. Uh, so you see that, well, you have one biodegradable plastic, and then you just throw it out, and then tomorrow you you throw it out back, and then tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. And then the plastic has become accumulated, even though you say that it's a biodegradable plastic. Oh, why, why, why can I just throw it? Okay. And then it accumulate, 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 and accumulate, and then you become a problem because it has so much time to degrade. Okay. Uh, so during, well, this is also some of the photo. Uh, so during the pandemic, you see that everyone are not going towards the ocean much, okay? So you see that ocean has much recover from before. But do you know that we have found the increasing number of plastic actually because of mask and glove that we yeah. need to, to wear, <laughs> you see? Uh, but it's a must for us. You must protect ourselves. We, everyone must wear a mask. But that is how, why, how we want to dispose it, okay? This, this, this mask has been found at the Soko Island. This, that Soko Island actually is very far from us. It's very far. It's the remote area at the oceans. So when we found it, say that we don't know actually where it's coming from. So and then it has become increasing because, you know, because of the pandemic, everyone is wearing a plastic. Everyone is wearing a mask. Everyone is playing uh, as a glove. And also everyone is uh, using uh, food delivery and you have lots of plastic and plastic 
and one is using the Shopee and one is using the Lazada to shop and you have more bunch of plastic, more bunch of plastic because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. So it's not just from Malaysia, it's also from, uh, from other country also, even from CNN. Uh, so we have a uh, war from company to company. Uh, so they are fighting to, to have this plastic mask and everything. So that, that's put some, some more numbers in Malaysia. Okay, about this marine conservation in Malaysia, okay? So okay. just now, uh, Encik Muni just called, talking about this LKRM. So it's a uh -huh. Lembaga Kemajuan Ikan Malaysia. And also we have DOF, or Jabatan Perikanan Malaysia. Uh, Jabatan Perikanan Malaysia has Taman Laut or Marine Park. Marine Park in Malaysia, uh, they, are, they are totally about marine conservation. So when you went to Pulau Tioman, when you went to Pulau Redang, uh, what else? Pulau Paya, Pulau Pentian. They are all under Marine Park of Malaysia. They are all under protection. You cannot fishing there. You cannot do any, any take it up, some coral there. Uh, you cannot. You will be fine. How uh, many thousand? I'm not sure. But you will be fine if you are inside the Marine Park. Okay? So these are some of the local... NGO or local university that are actually contribute to the marine conservation is either uh, directly or either indirectly. We are under the RUM there, we have the logo and then we are in the IUM Marine Schools, we are doing the conservation on education and awareness part. These are some of the, uh, the uh, uh, organisations that has been uh, collaborate with us. So we have lots more. We have a lot of WBF and so on. We have so much there. Okay, it's not just us. Okay, and then uh, World Ocean Day. So even France have started to doing a fine. And even some of scuba diver has using face masks because we have so much face masks in the ocean and just, we just use that to make to make something else before that circular economy. Okay, for those who you, that you have, well, some of you have IG, Instagram, some TikTok or YouTube, you can do yeah. some challenge. Uh, you can do some glove challenge, you can do some mask challenge. I mean, you can fight each other. Who's the one who can found lots of masks compared to each other? Uh, and then you <laughs> can just start. Like, like that. Like buy Everybody's starting a war. Everybody's starting a war. I yes, love you. Well, exactly. It's a good war, right? I mean, like, yeah, I, I've got more. I've got 100 right now in my hands. What? Wait, what? Wait, what, what, what? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 you had a head start. You had a head okay. start. It's not okay. fair. Some, someone, must, someone must start. Someone must start. Anyone from you, if you but are very that, like, uh, like Captain Ocean, not, please start. Uh, but before that, I think I have not went out of my house since uh, Lepas Raya. And we can't really go to beaches. We can't really go anywhere. It's, just it's, not, it's, not, it's not just at the beach. Just, just go just around your house. You can find so much of plastic litter there. Oh, is, I, this is a plastic? Uh, yes, just find the plastic there and then just go for, for this challenge. Okay? Okay, so, so, so even in Malaysia, we have a Malaysia roadmap towards zero single plastic use uh, from 2019 to 2030. We are going towards that. Even some of the banks uh, start uh, about the oceans. If, uh, for NGO, we have so much beach cleanup. We have plastic cleanup. We have so much about uh, ocean circular or circular economy. Uh, so everyone is going towards the good. I'm wondering what is the most uh, cleanest state, cleanest uh cleanest the most cleanest clean clean cleanest way of to be clean <laughs> no the Wait, most cleanest of, state i guess in malaysia yeah cleanest, that is your question. cleanest state i don't have the data so i cannot i cannot give uh, the info right now if i'm mistaken i'll be really just judge by the other state <laughs> uh we have the we have the data of the Malaysia. We don't have the data of the state. I need to ask the reef check about this one, because every oh, year the we are country. cleanest country. You can check that or the data from the reef check. You can just just go for the reef check. They have the Google. the data uh, right now. Uh, okay, Google. I just just Google that. We can search in Google, right? Yes, you can yeah, find because yeah. that, that's the recent one. Uh, last year we have been doing the plastic uh, cleanup, uh, so there's a data there. The okay, so country in the world is Denmark. Denmark. Denmark is it? Yeah, it's Denmark. 
Please to make sure that the data also is accurate uh, because it the water is set. Yep. Okay, then we must beat Denmark. Come on, everyone. Come on, warrior. You must beat Denmark. Okay, so so about the I just want to inform you about SDG. So United Nations has uh, has put sustainable development goal. They have 17 goals. And if you talk about the ocean, we are going towards goals number 14. It's below uh life below water. That is what our our aim. And also during this 2021-2023, United Nations Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development. So they have this uh, approach. Within these 10 years, we are going to enhance everything about the oceans. We are going to repair the oceans. So for everyone, let's support this thing uh, oh. for the United Nations Decades. Okay, so, so what can you do? I mean, like after my talk, you can try to be involved in some local cleanup and uh, try to not be, don't litter and then find a trash can, try to rethink. Rethink means that do you need the plastic or not? If you don't need that, you don't, you don't, you just don't use it. For example, when you went to, you're going to 7-Eleven, you're going to buy a bread, a bread that already wrapped in plastic. And then you ask the 7-Eleven uh, uh, at the counter, please wrap it in plastic. So why we need that? Just rethink about that thing. Something like that. Uh, if you're already in the plastic, why you need to bring more plastic inside? For example, uh, for example, for me, I, I find some banana at the supermarket that is wrapped with plastic. You know, banana is already wrapped with your uh, with your skin, with would very peel, protection. Would they peel uh, and then wrap more? Yes, you see, you see, no, no, they just wrap it just like that. I mean, like it's already protected so much. Why you need to wrap it that? Something like this. Something, something to wonder. Okay, so try to reduce, start to reuse, try to recycle. I'm thinking everyone, plastic is a it's a king of convenience. Uh, it's it's good for us. It makes much our life convenient. But instead of that convenience, it has also bring so much destruction to us. Okay, so we need to do something on that. We need to do something. Okay, Teacher. so yeah. There's also invasive species, right? Like for example, like the king crab. Yes. Yep. There are some invasive species problem into the ocean. Some of them are bring from the ship. Some of them, uh, we we introduce introduce that from our aquaculture program, something like that. From the ship, you know, there's a ballast water. I mean, uh, for ship to float in the water, you need a water inside the ship to ensure that it can float a bit, or else Wait, you may, I mean, what? Like, yes, you need a ballast water. Try to Google a ballast water. B a l l a s t. Okay. okay. You need. Uh, you, you need, for the very big ship, you need to ensure that ship can drown a bit, at least half, to ensure that it cannot just, just, just like that, lying on the ocean, something like that, okay? So when, when, when we, uh, when the ship from the port to port, so they will fill in some water from that port. And then when they go to another port, they will fill it out and fill in back. Uh, so some of the species that are going towards in the ballast water and then it will be introduced to other pot that are very far from that original place. Okay. Okay, so about, about the marine conservation, I mean like, okay, if you want to do some, maybe you think that uh, I'm just one person, I think I'm not going to do that. But if any, every one of you actually, if every one of you doing the same, that thing actually really has an effect. We can help so much of our environment. We can help so much of our marine conservation. Okay, do something, at least do something. Just, just don't just lie, do something. Uh, get, grab the knowledge and do something. It's not something that you, you know, it's always right now, it's about something that you can do with what you know. Okay, uh, so okay, you can also go to our IM Marine School to get some idea. Uh, we can go to the IM Marine School YouTube channel. Uh, we, ha we have been uh, to the school, uh, before this to the Bentong, we have uh, some local schools, but you know, because of PKP, so we just doing so much on the online awareness. Okay, this is our station, Innocent. So we have been doing some collaboration with Malfons and Topper right now. So this is our station and we are just next to the very beautiful ocean. Okay, very blue one. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you everyone.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be a warrior. Okay. Oh, there's 81 people now. Okay. All right, we got one more speaker for all of you, our last speaker. All right, uh, with, uh, we'll change the slides. Okay, Hafiz is coming on board uh, with some interesting stories and tips on the billfish. Okay. Oh, so how is it so far? You guys enjoying the session? Yeah. 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 Meet yeah. for you guys. Yeah. Everybody just having fun at this point. All right, having good ideas here yeah, for you to start your essay. Okay, now I hand over to Che Hafiz. Che Hafiz, assalamualaikum. All yours. Okay, assalamualaikum. Hi everybody. Hi. 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 Everyone can hear. Um, your voice is kind of not clear. Can we It's kind of muffled, sorry. Everyone can hear me? Everyone can hear me? Is it my voice? Yes. Yeah, your voice is now. Yes, I can hear. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, everybody. I'm Hafiz, I'm Hafiz from, from Melcons. Okay, I'm here, okay, I'm here uh, to, uh, to talk uh, about uh, RPIC and also, and also the, the fish. Okay. okay. Um, um, so anyone, anyone know about this? Sir, before? there's echo in your voice. Yeah. Can you hear my voice? Yeah, we can hear you, but the problem is echo. There's echo. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, Munir, can you please unmute? Can you please mute yourself? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, All right. Does anybody know about billfish before? I mean, they kind of look like swordfish. Okay. No. So, um, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to share a video to all of you regarding the Royal Pahang billfish on the 2019. And then after that, we will talk about the billfish and whatever you, you want to know about billfish. But first, we need to view the video first. Okay, Abangwuna, can you play the video from the start? The video audio tak keluar. Yeah. Yeah. All the pictures. Okay, wait ah, wait ah. We play again. 
पहचान Can you guess? Can you hear? Yeah, yeah, no. No. Double. Just check out, lah. What's up, boy? Okay, tapo. There's no sound. You can just uh, do a voice over so that you know. Uh, just explain the the video. Okay. So this is the RPBIC 2019. Mute somebody, please mute. Mute your sound. Okay. So we see the video from the 2019. Oh dear God! Zoom, zoom, off zoom. Okay. All right. So we 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 see the few of the boats over there. The RPBIC 2019. Okay. Okay. We have participated from the 19, right? 14. Sorry, what 14 countries? Um, and uh, boats together, forty-three boats, two thousand nineteen. They are from Japan, from Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Germany, India, Singapore, and and so on. So we also on two thousand nineteen, we got participation from two teams that are uh, ladies teams. The first time the ladies teams. Oh, ladies. All ladies, ah, huh? all ladies, come join the RPBIC, and uh, um, RPBIC uh, running for three days. Saturday, sorry, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Uh, Friday is for the registration. Uh, Saturday, uh, we got launching and uh, fishing. Uh, Sunday also fishing in the morning and the afternoon. We got the uh, the ceremony for the Uh, closing. closing and results regarding the fishing. Okay, this is the ceremony uh, at the night. Uh, RPBIC. Okay, so for your information, the RPBIC have been running for 16 times, uh, starting from 2004, and then uh, the last times we do is 2019, 2020. We got pandemic. Also this year we are trying to do also. But we are waiting for the decision regarding the RPBIC 2021. Okay, um, the collaboration is within the uh, also Motek um, and also Tourism Malaysia and Tourism Pahang. Uh, plenty of other sponsor you see there. There sponsor over there and the winners and so on. Okay, so that one is the last one. Eleven uh, to thirteen September 2019. Okay, so. Uh, regarding the the billfish, okay, as you must know, there are plenty type of uh, billfish in the world. Um, in Malaysia, there are plenty of uh, the type of billfish to coming to Malaysia is actually the sailfish. Okay, you need to understand the differentiate between the sailfish and also billfish. Okay, the billfish. Hello. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Everyone can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. We have some technical issues uh, right now regarding the the display and so on. Okay. Um. The the billfish is the what we can say the the main group of of the fish. Okay. What you can see over there, 
Can you tell what type of fish is there? Bluefish. 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 The bluefish is the is the main group. Okay. The 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 pecahan dia kat bawah tu dia si bluefish. Marlin. Marlin, sailfish, and swordfish. What kind of bluefish there? Can you see? Marlin. Marlin. Yeah. Okay. Good. Marlin. Yeah, that that is a marlin. Okay, ten point for you. <laughs> okay, um, can you differentiate between marlin and selfish? I think so. I think selfish has bigger. What do you call? Yang kat belakang tu, I forgot what they're called. The sail. Sail. Giant like scale at the back there. Yeah. The, 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 you see the dorsal at the marlin. The pointy thing at the head. Yeah, at at the head. You see the dorsal over there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The 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 small dorsal is marlin, and the the big dorsal, macam macam layar tu, layar kapal tu. That one is a uh, selfish. Okay. Um. Before this, somebody else, uh, someone else uh, asked about the hook. Can you show the hook? Show me. Okay, there's plenty type of hook in the world. Uh, there's J hook, circle hook, and so on. Somebody asked about uh, is is this hook make any difference? Okay, the answer is yes. For the billfish, we encourage people to use the um to use the circle hook okay <laughs> okay we encourage people to use the circle hook okay why is because uh, standard hook that being used before this is a j hook j hook is will uh, damage the fish because j hook is so small it will uh, be eaten the fish and it will stuck in the gill you know the gill yeah. okay the gill is insang insang ikan okay anyone got gill here <laughs> and anyone have gill inside inside their bodies <laughs> no <laughs> no, no, I'm not a fish. Breeds with our nose, right? <laughs> okay. The fish they breed well, with with their gill in sang. Uh, gill in English, Malay is in sang. Okay. <laughs> un un unless you are mermaid, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there's the hook. You you can see the hook over there. So the small hook at the first is the, the J J uh, the, the left uh, the left side. Okay, that one is a J hook. It's a small, yeah. small, small hook. This one is standard hook. It's been used before this for very our ancestor to our right now. But um, the technology has become more, advanced. more advanced. So right now we are encouraging people to use the circle hook. Okay, circle hook. The hook is so big, so it cannot enter the mouths of the selfish. Okay, you might wonder how we catch the fish. Okay, uh, if you can, if you can remember the the picture of the fish, the fish ha have a uh, horn, right? The ho okay, bill. the horn we call bill. Alright. Yeah. Ada kat hidung dia tu ada macam paruh panjang tu. Do you snag it? Excuse me. So does like the fishing hook get it from there? Yeah. So when when the circle hook uh, got eat a bit, uh, eat a bit. Okay. So when the fish eat a bit, the circle hook will hook at the horn. It will not enter the mouth. So that's why we use the circle hook. Okay. Some of you may say, uh, does the fish feel hurt or so on? Okay. Um, that's why we have collaborated with the UIA to research uh, regarding this issue. Uh, so we're waiting for you. You we also uh, waiting for the results of our collaboration. Uh, 
uh, then we will uh, send out the the findings regarding this one so you can you can also uh, google it uh, all the research and so on uh, um, at the uh, fishing magazine and so on so regarding the billfish and selfish um, okay that, that one you see the lady angler before this also we have lady participants in the royal the royal billfish pahang but the participant before this sometimes mix with the male angler so this uh, sorry that time of year 2019 we have two teams they're all ladies there are no male participants in the team um, except the 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 tekong lah the captain of the boat <laughs> so they girls power <laughs> girls power power puff <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Uh, how is it like? Like, since now we're in, we're all just at home, right? Can you share the experience of actually being at sea and like trying to catch these big fishes? Like, I'm sure all of us would want to know. Can 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 you repeat the question again? Uh, how is the experience of being at sea? And catching these big fishes, like how do you actually do it, and what happens? I'm sure okay. we all try to imagine, but I think it's best if somebody tells us what actually happens, so we can imagine like what. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, regarding this one, um, have you all know about the ikan kelah? No. Do you know what ikan kelah? No. What? What's that? No. What's that? No. Okay. Okay. In have you know about um, ikan kela? If you know about ikan kela, okay. At the land, the fish at the, at the what we call river, okay. The what we call the uh, ikan kebanggaan uh, for a person to catch at uh. the river is ikan kela. Okay. Mm. The, the trophy fish, trophy fish for the land. Fish is ikan kela. Okay? May I ask why? Why? Because it's, it's hard to fish, hard to catch. And you hard to see that fish in the market. And the price is so, so uh -huh. high, expensive. One fish can maybe 300 or 400 ringgit, one fish. That one ikan kela at the land. Okay? At the sea, Okay, at the sea, the trophy fish is selfish or billfish or marlin, whatever you want to call. Okay, the, the family name is billfish. Okay, so it is the trophy fish. Why we call the trophy fish? Because it is hard to catch this fish. Okay, okay. When you go to the um, Hava, Mexico, especially before, before this, this billfish is recognized at Hava, Mexico. At US, at the Mexico side, okay. Nobody knows What's that this side? fish is plenty in Malaysia. Okay, yeah. okay. Only locals know this fish plenty in Malaysia. All right. This fish is hard to catch because first the size. You can see the picture before. The size is about uh, thirty kilo, forty kilo. Okay, thirty it's kilo the size fish. Size of a baby. Okay, 30 kilo fish is actually a small fish. Wow. Uh, that's so why. Small? Yeah, small. Because average fish in Kuala Rompin is about 40 to 80 kilo, the average fish. Wow. Okay, but when you go to the other countries such as the Mexico and the US, the fish is about 200 or 300 kilos. That's why everybody come to Kuala Rompin to feel the experience to catch this big fish. Oh. Okay. If you ask about how we catch the fish, okay. In the morning, we, we go to the sea within the boat. Okay. We, 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 ride, the, we ride the boat at 8 o'clock. And then we go to the designated area, okay, and we search the fish. Okay, 
and then uh, we wait, 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 and then the fish will catch using the bait that we throw out. Okay, the bait we using the hearing fish, or maybe mackerel fish we use for the bait. All right, and then the fish will take, and then we fight the fish. Okay, Whoa. landed the fish is about take minimum twenty minutes to one hour. What? what? Man, wow. that, that's, that's a lot. Like, you actually just trying to pull it out. Yeah, it's hard to pull it out. That's why we said it is a trophy fish. And how dangerous is it? Because it's got like those big bills and... Okay, it's really dangerous, but... Okay, it's really dangerous, but... <laughs> okay, that's a but. Okay, when we fight the fish over maybe 20 minutes or one hour, we fight the fish, the fish become tired. Mm. Okay, so they just got to have the stamina for it. Yeah, they got no stamina for it. They, they, they got no stamina to, 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 to stab us with, with the, the horn, the bill. Okay, so we can get the fish, catch the fish, tagging the fish. Uh, if you want to picture with the fish, then you can picture with the fish. But uh, there's a limit over there. There's two limit that, that all the captain must know. One, first they need to see if the fish is too tired or not. Mm. We, can, we can know the fish is tired or not. Okay? How we know the fish is tired or not is by their body skin. Okay? You see the video of the fish before? You see the video, the fish is kind of black. The color is kind of black or kind of... of uh, Club, uh, dark blue or blue one or uh, kelabu okay that one okay. is the, the the standard of the fighting fish that means the fish is still got energy okay but when the fish gone white overall white the body change color to white okay when the when the fish change color to all white that means the fish is too tired then we we have to release the fish oh how does it change color? Yeah, that's one we need to <laughs> we need to research about that one. <laughs> but I have a question. Okay. Uh, the, uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, does anybody have anybody like fallen off their ship or the raft or something while trying to catch the fish? Has anybody uh, fallen inside the water? <laughs> <laughs> Officially, we said no. <laughs> Not officially, yes. If you if you saw the YouTube, you see plenty of angler uh, usually at the US side. Uh, sometimes the fish bring them in the water, and also mm -hmm. the fish can flip the boat over. That one in the in the US United States side because in the United States side. The fish is about 200 kilo, 300 kilo, so it's very big. Fishes be, fishes will be the wrestler of humans. Uh. We will involve. <laughs> so in Malaysia side, the fish is about 80 kilo. So um, I, I think every anglers can handle the fish. Probably. If they can't, they bring one more person to school. They're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other question? <laughs> okay. During last RPBIC, we also introduced the tagging fishing because before this, uh, we have no tagging. Uh, but uh, during the RPBIC 2019, we do the tagging. So we do tag the fish and some of the angler after that uh, send their uh, results of tagging. Some of the fish are found at the Australia side. Some of the fish found uh, at Japan. So this fish is traveling fish. So they travel okay. all uh, migratory fish. So they travel all around the world. But that's why we're tagging the fish because we want to know their pathway, where they are going, the, 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 the route of the fish. Yeah, meaning fishes might have been more and more advanced than us, and they could just like swim around while we here stuck in the stuck in our uh, houses cannot go nowhere. Yeah, except they don't bring so, any. Can I ask? <laughs> can, can fish have muscles? 
Excuse me? Can fish have muscles? I'm just curious. <laughs> That, that that's one <laughs> I have no idea regarding that one. <laughs> we, we 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 need the input from Doctor Fuad. <laughs> Hold on, we're getting muscles. Can fish have muscles? Okay, and any anyone else want to ask any more question regarding bill fish? Okay, uh, does fish have muscles? Fish has more muscles than any other vertebrate. I didn't fish hear you. Fish has muscles. Excuse me? Fish does have muscles. Fish does have muscles. <laughs> so I think that's all that I need to wrap. Um, Encik Mune will show one last video and then uh, we'll go back to the organizer to... Uh, handle this um, session. Okay, Cik Munah, uh, over to you for the video. Question and answer, I'm waiting for the video. Okay, uh, question and answer. Yeah, anyone else got question and answer? No. Can mm -hmm. I? Wait, wait. Oh, I, 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 I should start to say something. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Okay, what's the smartest like type of uh, fish or fish? sea animal? Excuse me. Uh, what's I think it'll be small? dolphin. Yeah, the dolphin. This type, the smartest uh sea animal. Yeah. Oh, somebody said octopus. Is oh, octopus? dude, they are very smart also. I mean, at this point, we can even say <laughs> sea lion. But but I've heard that what do you call dolphins use baby sharks as volleyballs for fun. What? Yeah. Volleyball. Yeah. You can see the fish jumping in the morning. Everybody, everybody is watching now the fish version of Haikyuu. Oh, wow. oh, wow. oh, wow. oh, wow. Fire. Oh, wow. Fire. We got also some dolphin in Kuala Lumpur, but there's not much. Just small dolphin at Kuala Lumpur. Okay, some of you may ask uh, regarding how we know that that area have a fish. Okay, this one. Uh, it's not a uh, very scientific way. There's no theory regarding this one. But how we know that that area of fish got selfish, okay? We see the bird. Okay? Bird? Bird? Yeah, we see the bird. Seagull. Seagull. Okay? When we go out to the sea, we see, uh, we look for seagull. If that area, plenty of seagull over there, there probably a uh, high chance that the selfish or dolphin, a dolphin is the smartest sea animal. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is everything okay? Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back from our session. Wait, 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 wait. what fish got him? Fish can you got hear him. Me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Okay. So, um, the seagull will 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 look for the um, uh, what we call the group of uh, small fish, and the small fish that we call the bait fish or the ball fish. Okay. The small fish will form the bait fish or the ball fish because they have been uh, surrounded by the selfish. The selfish is down there. Okay, they they hunt in a group, so they they make the fish come swirling around, uh, making the ball fish. 
ball? Uh, excuse me? Wait, what? How does it become suddenly a ball fish? No, like a lot of fishes <laughs> come together and then it becomes it's a, it's a pet. It is okay. like a oh, pet. Cool. It's it's like a pet. Oh, okay. Let me explain. The, the sailfish, they normally hunt in packs, mean, meaning it's a school of a group of fish we call school, right? School of sailfish, they will hunt in, 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 in packs. They're going to use their sail to surround their prey. You know, they work together, so they raise up their, their sail upright, and then they will surround the, the small fish. And then the, they will take turn to what you call to, 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 to use the bill and knock the small fish with their bills. They use their sail to surround the, the small fish, and the small fish become like a, 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 a big ball of a small fish at the center. And then they will take turn, they go in and, and use the bill to, to, to what do you call? To ketor lah, the small fish. <laughs> so you it's kind of like a... It's... So when the, the small fish in days, they go and, and eat it. So, oh, they, they... Oh, so it's the, 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 like one of those dogs that like herd up sheep. Yeah, the, 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 what do you call the, the seagull, they will see the, the bill fish from the top. So when, when the, the, the bill fish surrounded their prey, the small fish will, will sometimes will, will jump up from the, from the water to, to in, in effort to escape from being eaten by the bill fish. So that's when okay. the seagull fly down and catch the small fish. Okay. So they share the small fish. Oh man, that's free food there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I hope, I hope that, that, that helps. Yeah. Okay, Habib, Habibah, I think the, 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 present, the presentation is, is, is over from our side. It's uh, 11 30 now. Please yes. pass that to you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that was. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's a really Thank interesting you. sharing session. Thank you. We've got so Thank much, and especially from someone who's been there and organizing the competition. It is fun. It's it's real fish fun so I guess that marks the end of our session. Uh, do follow our Instagram page. Hold on, what is it? Warriors for updates on the next workshops and also how to register and submit your essays for the competition. Wait, what was the name of the Instagram <laughs> I'll repeat that it's We Ocean Warriors on Instagram, okay. and you can see that we've uh, we've got all the links for the upcoming workshops there. We've got um, the terms and conditions for the yes for the competition. Oh, and again, I'd oh. like to say thank you to Mr. Izani Amir for having helped us organize this. And Mr. Muni Kasman from Malkons uh, for sharing. And Dr. Fuad Miskon just now telling us about the oceans and coming from like the academic side of things to Mr. Noor Hafiz having experience in the competition itself and being at sea. Thank you everybody. So we'll Found it. <laughs> Can we get everyone to do like a okay. like a wave? Thank Can you we try that? Like a, let's do a little sea wave together. Okay. One, two. Come on, everyone. Go. The sign of the Everybody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please uh, go to our website and check out information about conservation and 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 build fish uh, and competition. At rpbic.com. Okay. okay, can we can we get that on the chat so then we can see? We're gonna need all of these resources because you guys are gonna get to writing and you're gonna do some reading and research. And these are the people who you should be referring to. They've got all the information about the sea. Everybody just like started. Uh, can we have the link on the chat, maybe? Instagram is already on the Instagram link is already on the chat. 
Is it already? Yeah. Uh, it's already yeah, already on the chat. Right. Thank I already you. followed. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. We look forward, we look forward to have your submissions and your creative yeah. ideas and your you know cool essays and you know yeah. we look forward to, to have those submissions early. All right. Have a good, good day, have a good weekend. Enjoy your school holidays. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. Thank you so much for setting up the channel yeah. for us to do the session today. Yeah. No problem. I'm going to end the stream, man. Yeah? I'm going to end this. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah, Fuad. Sure. All right. Yeah. Okay, Munir and Apa. Thank you, uh, Semua orang, thank you so much. Okay. I hope you're keeping, uh, no? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs>